I think this suspension by Major League Baseball was bogus. I think that Josh Donaldson was done wrong on this. I'm talking about this specific relationship with Tim Anderson and Josh Donaldson. Yes, George Floyd happened. That is absolutely true. Biggest voice at ESPN, Stephen A. Smith. If there was communication between the two and Josh Donaldson comes out and he explains where it emanated from, then if you're Tim Anderson, you need to tell us, excuse me, you found it disrespectful. What about what he said that y'all were talking? Y'all just talked a few months ago. Let's go back to what Stephen A. prefaced with because he's leaving out a lot. Are you aware at all of what... Tim Anderson had to say in direct response to Josh Donaldson's assertion that it came from the Sports Illustrated article where Tim Anderson called himself the next Jackie Robinson um, and that he had been calling Tim Anderson Jackie on several occasions. This is important. Here's why. What feels like a harmless question is actually the complete opposite. First off, Stephen A., you are leaving out why Tim Anderson called himself that in that article. Context matters, so let's go over it. In that very article, Anderson spoke on feeling isolated because baseball and black ball players make up roughly 7% of the league's demographic. He has said he feels isolated and out of place being a black man in the game, the outlet wrote. He says he feels out of place in baseball like he belongs on the field, but not in the game because of this loneliness and how he would like the game to be more inclusive cool and fun breaking baseball's old school predominantly white ways he said i kind of feel like today's jackie robinson that's huge to say but it's cool man because he changed the game and i feel like i'm getting to a point to where i need to change the game the second is stephen a is taking the wrong party side in this story he is painting the false picture of Tim Anderson and Josh Donaldson just joshing around as old pals when that's not the case. It is unequivocally false. I believe if LeBron James and Anthony Davis are healthy, the Lakers could go to the playoffs with those two guys. My reservations are extremely deep about Russell Westbrook in this system. Stephen A. Smith went on first take and bashed Russell Westbrook some more. When new Lakers head coach Darvin Ham was introduced, this was Smith's takeaway. Him being at that press conference yesterday, actually to me, I didn't like it. Thus, ex-NBA vet J.J. Redick and current New Orleans Pelican C.J. McCollum responded. So you, you said a, a, a random, random take. And then you explained a bunch of things about Russell Westbrook that had nothing to do with that take. And so I want clarification on this. Sure. What is your issue with Russell Westbrook being at that news conference? That's a wild thing. Not, that, That's a wild thing that for well you to all, say. Stephen Him supporting his team, his organization, yeah. his coach, a fellow African American man well, that gets hired by the Los don't Angeles go there. Lakers. Don't, don't go there. That's and not now what, that's not you're what saying. Going, this is what you said. See, but no, no, no. But see, you, you crossed, said that you're crossing he crossing the line when you bring up oh another African American man. That's not where I'm going. With you that. said I'm that about the Lakers organization discussing trading him. What does that got to do with him? Well, what I'm saying, no, what are you talking about what that got You to said do with him? him going to the press conference, you're disappointed I'm saying, I'm, no, I'm saying. Don't that, run the I'm, tape, we got the tape. What was that thing Draymond said after the Mad Dog fiasco? When I say sincerely yours, the new media, what I mean by that is the landscape of media is about to change. You will no longer be allowed to sit there and say what you want. You will no longer be allowed to put out these false narratives. You will no longer be able to allow to not know what you're talking about and we're going to listen to you. Those days are long gone. You know why? Because we have guys like J.J. Reddick who's done it, who speaks it, who knows how to, to speak on any different topic, who's not afraid to shut an idiot up. When I say sincerely yours, the new media, the, you will be held accountable. And you will have to know what you're talking about in order to speak on eSports. You will have to know what you're talking about in, able, in, in order to, to speak on this game of basketball. You know why? Because we're doing it now. This is what we are seeing in real time, and it's a breath of fresh air. Because you see the lambastic, outlandish, 
unabashed world of sports media where it's simply who can outtake the other take in the world of takes this conglomerate of a BS riddled factory of outrage at all times is finally answering for it. Steven, the please, Lakers please organization has been talking about moving Russell Westbrook. They're talking about trading him. My point is, is that this guy, there are question marks as to whether or not he's going to be a part of the team. That's all but I meant right by saying. right now he's on the team. I understand that. And that's his that. new coach. <laughs> exactly. And let's just play devil's advocate here. Let's say Russell Westbrook did not show up. What do you think Stephen A. would say? The shoe would be on the other foot, most likely. Don't know him personally. Can't say that he would for sure say it. But I do believe in this hemisphere of sports media that he would say, oh, what a bad teammate. He's not even in it. The Lakers want him out. Clearly, he wants out. Couldn't even support his new coach. Couldn't even be there. Russell Westbrook made time to do it. But there is unequivocal doubt, no doubt in my mind, that that would have occurred on first take. Do you want to take, do you want to take back that statement? No. I feel you don't want to take it back. No. You said that he shouldn't have been at the press conference, which no. is foul. I said I did not lie. He should have been at the press conference. First of conference. all, it's not foul. Smith would, in my opinion, attempt to save face towards the segment's conclusion by claiming his criticism was somehow directed at the Lakers organization. However, the point could also be made that without this pushback, Stephen A. would have skated on by. He just would have said this and had no pushback whatsoever or if it was somebody else who was not a former nba player he would have doubled tripled quadrupled i mean you saw him double down when he was already in the wrong and then in my opinion gave the final verdict of well i'm speaking from the lakers standpoint he backpedaled and backpedaled and backpedaled and backpedaled and then he gave this whimsical answer of a conclusion